everyone, and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager tutorial. Today, we're going to go through and set up duration goals, but for Google Analytics 4. So what we want to do is we want to create an event or many events, perhaps, that are going to track the time that people spend on site. For example, let's say that I want to have an event that is going to trigger every time that someone stays on my website for more than three minutes or more than two minutes or more than five minutes. You decide. How can we do that? We are going to go straight to the point, but before we go there, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really helps tremendously to create new content. Thank you very much in advance and let's get started. So prerequisites, you need Google Tag Manager to be installed in all the website pages that you have. This is a prerequisite. Second thing, you need to come here to the Google Tag Manager. And we are going to start by creating a trigger. So we're going to click on trigger and we are going to create a new trigger. We're going to name this trigger. Let's start, for example, with one minute, right? So let's say one minute time on site. We're going to name it like this. We're going to click on trigger configuration and we are going to select from the right hand side timer all the way down right here. So we're going to select timer. And what we're going to do now here is we're going to set the timer and the timer is set, it is set in milliseconds. So how many milliseconds is one minute? Let's actually Google that to be right. How many milliseconds, one minute? So don't misspell it like I always do. 60,000 milliseconds is one minute. So what we're going to do here is we are going to write here on interval milliseconds, 60,000. And the limit, we're going to put one here. We want this to fire just one time, not continuously. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to click here on the conditions. We're going to select page URL and we want this to fire now on all the pages on our website. So what we're going to do is we are going to select basically here matches regular expression and we're going to type dot and asterisk. All the instructions, by the way, are going to be in the video description. This is the setup. So one more time. What we want to track is we want to create an event that is going to fire every time someone stays on our website for one minute or more. So this is measured in milliseconds. 60,000 milliseconds is the interval. Limit one and page URL matches regular expression dot asterisk so that this goes to all the pages. And we're going to save this trigger. Now that we save this trigger, we're going to go to tags and we're going to create a new tag. So we're going to click on new. We're going to name this tag, let's say GA for event, uh, one minute on site. And we're going to click here on tag configuration. We're going to select Google Analytics GA for event. And under the configuration tag, if this is the second, third, and so forth time that you do it, the system will remember your GA4 measurement ID. If this is the first time you create a Google Analytics 4 event, then you need to say here basically manually see the ID. And under the measurement ID, you need to go to your Google Analytics 4 admin data streams. Click on your data stream. You're going to find your measurement ID. You're going to paste it here. So for me, it's not the first time that I create events. So the system remembers my measurement ID. Under event name now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a name relevant to the event. So I'm just going to call it time one minute. Make sure you don't leave any spaces when you give event names to avoid any trouble later on. This is the tag setup. And now we're going to attach the trigger that we just created. And we're going to save. And most importantly, after we save, we're going to submit and we are going to publish our container. So now that we submitted and published our container, we are going to preview whether what we did actually works as expectedly. So how are we going to do that? We're going to click on preview. I'm going to click on preview. I'm going to put here the URL of my homepage and we're going 
to click connect. And now we're going to have one tab that is going to open up, which is my home page, which is connected here to the tag assistant. And the second tab is the tag assistant. And now we're going to play the waiting game. So we need to wait 60 seconds. And once we wait 60 seconds, then what we're going to see, hopefully, is under the tags fired, there is going to be the event that we just set up, which is the last one here that is called GA4, one minute on site. So let me actually go to my site. And since we have 60 seconds to wait, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'm not going to repeat it again. I'm just trying to kill this 60 seconds time to see whether the event is set up properly. But if we spend one minute or more on the site, then when we go back to the tag manager, we should see actually that this event is firing. Now, the same logic applies for any other, let's say, goal duration or duration goal, basically, that you want to set up, right? So obviously, in GA4, everything is an event. So if you want to set up an event that is like three minutes, for example, then all you have to do is to change the milliseconds to, let's say, 180,000. Five minutes is 300,000. We're going to do this together also uh, once everything uh, once everything actually uh, fires and materializes. So let me stay a little bit longer here on the site. And I believe that it should be already one minute, unless I talk very fast. So if we come back to our tag assistant, here we go, one minute past, GA4 event, one minute on site, under the tags fired. And we can see here under the sequence of what is happening on my site that there is a timer event that basically is triggered after exactly one minute. So it means that our setup works. So now I told you just now that using the same logic, we can set up duration goals for three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, or anything you really want to track in terms of time on site. So let's actually do that. Maybe two examples. One timer that is, let's say, two minutes and one that is three minutes, right? Because I can't speak to you for 10 minutes, obviously. So let's go to trigger. And we are going to create a trigger that is going to be called two minutes on site. Again, here, the configuration is going to be timer. Two minutes is, I think, 120,000 milliseconds. So the interval here is going to be 120,000 milliseconds limit one and this is going to be relevant to all the pages and i'm going to say here match the regular expression dot asterisk and i'm going to save and i'm going to also create an event that is going to be relevant to three minutes on site so i'm going to click on new i'm going to name this trigger three minutes on site trigger configuration again same so i'm going to click on timer this is 180,000 milliseconds, if my math skills are correct. And then I'm going to say that this is going to be applicable to all the pages. So the page URL is going to be dot asterisk. I'm going to save this trigger. And I'm just going to create two more events, which means we need two more tags. right? So I'm going to go to tags. I'm going to create in one more tag, which is going to be GA4. Let's say two minutes on site. The tag configuration is always the same, GA4 event. Sorry for clicking in wrong places. So GA4 here, we're going to name this two means two minutes. The trigger is going to be two minutes on site. And I'm going to save. And let's create one more trigger so we can test everything in one go. So the tag is going to be named GA4 event three minutes on site configuration again same thing ga4 event ga4 the event name is going to be three minutes and the trigger is going to be the three minutes on site that we just created so for changes to go live obviously we need to submit and publish our container we need to sync like no one is listening especially useful if you don't have a talent in singing and now what we're going to do is we're going to preview if everything we did is correct. So we're going to click here on preview. And 
we are going to connect with our website as usual. And now I'm going to have here my website connected to the tag assistant and the tag assistant that is basically uh, on my second tab here. And now we're going to play the waiting game. So we need to wait three minutes. And then when we go back to the tag assistant, then we are going to check whether all these events are firing. I believe that we did everything correctly and everything should fire as normal. So as you're waiting, those of you who didn't subscribe, please do so and like the video. I'm not tired of repeating it. Uh, also, if you want me to create other videos, since we are playing the waiting game now, so if you want me to create videos with um, other event setup or anything on Google Analytics, or even, let's say, other channels, let's say Google Ads, Meta Ads, um, TikTok Ads, anything that is relevant to PPC, anything that is relevant to email, anything that is relevant to landing pages, or anything at all that is relevant to digital marketing, you can comment below in the below the video description you can leave me a comment and i do read all the comments i try to reply not uh, obviously super fast because i have a lot of things that i'm working on as you can imagine but i do read the comments i do get suggestions actually this video is a suggestion from one of you you told me to create a video which is relevant to scroll threshold and you also told me to create a report on th scroll thresholds which is something we are going to do also very soon. Now that we have the events in place, we can go and we can use them in Looker Studio. We can go and we can use them in any type of, of report. So at least one minute passed. So let's go back to Tag Assistant. And here we can see the first basically event that is already firing, GA4, one minute on site. So my first timer actually already fired, right? So now let's actually wait two more minutes and we should be able to see uh, the second event also firing, which is on the two minute threshold and the third event firing, which is on the third minute threshold. If you want to see more video tutorials, I have a whole playlist on Google Tag Manager tutorials, a whole playlist on GA4 tutorials. I also have playlists on Google Ads, Facebook Ads, all the technicalities and all the setup on the pixels. That's also something you can find on my channel. What else should I say now to wait for these events to fire, right? So uh, don't really sure how to, to kill this time. Uh, by the way, here where I'm taking the video is very hot, like 32 degrees. That's why I am suffering a little bit as I'm filming this. But anyway, so I think we should be already there and here we go so if we go to timer we have one minute two minutes three minutes on site so now that we managed to kill this time you see that all three events one minute two minutes and three minutes are actually firing so we have the the timer on the three minutes the timer on the one minute and the two minutes that they actually fired sequentially as the user is actually on the site and that's exactly how you can replicate the duration goals in google analytics as events I hope that you found value in this video and playing the waiting game to check whether the events are working was worth it. Once again, please subscribe. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video.